guys, Keelmancer here, once another Keelmancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button, subscribe button to get the notification to my channel. Alright guys, uh, today I want to do something fun, something different. Um, not everybody knows that I beat Ghost of Tsushima on my channel. I enjoyed the game, the game was spectacular. I love the game, it's, it was really, really, really fun. Uh, basically, it took me a while to beat the game because I've, I've been doing my t-shirt business things and a bunch of other uh, things related to my, my t-shirt business. So I haven't had, I didn't have too much time to play the game when it first really, when it first really came out. But as I started getting into it, I just started just running through it. More so doing the side quests and more so exploring the world because the world is beautiful. This has to be the most visually pleasing PS4 game I've ever seen. I'm talking about have ever seen. This is like during the PS4's, uh, uh, was it in lifespan? In my opinion, it's like it's like this company, Soccer Punch, definitely pulled out the potential of PS4 during its last uh, was it lifespan before the PS5. Now, I highly believe that this is going to be game of the year. That's if they don't play slick and Last of Us 2 beat it. Personally, I, I'm I'm not playing the game. I have no interest in the game. I already seen many of different videos of it, but we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about the photo mode on Ghost of Tsushima, the photos that I took in on Ghost of Tsushima. But also, I'm gonna do a follow-up video with this as well, showing you my photography editing skills when it comes down to the photo mode and whatnot, which I'm gonna be editing uh, filters and doing a bunch of other stuff when it comes down to it. But these are just raw uh, images that I took on uh, Ghost of Tsushima's photo mode. So we're gonna look at some of them. So let's dive right up into this, guys. I'm gonna turn over to this and we're going to queue in okay so what we got right here was pretty much the bit like the beginning of the game for me and i was just getting into the fact of the matter that when it came down to certain areas i really wanted to capture the lighting of the areas so i would constantly find places on purpose where i'll be able to see the light just beam right through where it could hit the grass and where it could hit the trees and whatnot. Most of my pictures were strategically taken. I didn't just randomly go off and just take pictures and stuff. And as you can see, you can see the, the leaves falling off the trees and everything um, within this shot right here. And I just thought it was really, 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 really dope, guys. I, I was just lost for words when I first seen this photo right here. Now, if you look, guys, you'll see uh, uh, basically... You'll see the main character, Jen, on his horse, and you'll see, like, his back. Now, I've taken a lot of pictures like that, and that's because, for some apparent reason, I just liked the dramatic look, like, almost like a movie look when it came down to certain stuff, like the hero walking into the sunset, almost like a Western fairy tale type of, uh, <laughs> I guess you call it a fairy tale type of thing. But you see uh, all of the goldenness like that was in this within the trees and stuff like that you see the greens you see some of the blues blues are my favorite colors but for some apparent reason the the browns and the yellows and the golds work perfectly for this shot now we're going to move on to the next picture all right now this was like i said the, one of the beginning parts of the game i have found one of these uh shrine areas uh basically picking up a katana and this was just like amazing guys like i just was really getting in tune with uh the photo mode here and as you can as you're going to see you want to see my progression of how i want to shoot my pictures and like i said this is the beginning part i wanted to see what this thing could do so i found one of the one of the top hills in this game to be able to take this type of shot because i just like i said i just love how the sun pops right up guys it just looks looks really really phenomenal guys and you can see the rocks and everything within this shot move on to the next picture now this picture right here for me like i more so like when when you get into a situation where after you beat in a particular area and it basically zooms out and everything and then it puts like the name of the area and stuff and i always thought those things were pretty cool so i just had to take a picture of this automatically right away and you can see the fire, you see the trees and everything within the picture. Then the next photo you see, I think I was I was helping uh, one of my friends, I think his name is uh, Guru, I think Gar Garu, I think that's his name. And I wanted to take the back shot. Now me 
and uh, one of my companions was hiding in the back of the caravan. I just thought these blues were just phenomenal, guys. It reminds me of like uh, of a movie right here, <laughs> almost kind of like the Friday the 13th uh, type of color uh, Garrett gradient that they use. Then you have this part right here. Um, was it a uh, Jen's uh, uh, caretaker died? And I thought this was a beautiful scene. It was like, oh, no, no, this is not that scene right there. This is just um, I was chilling with uh, um, the mesh of the bow, as you guys already know. And this this scene was just beautiful, beautiful, guys. But I do have a shot of her, as you'll probably see later within this. But if not, they're probably in the other photo, which I'm going to edit. Now, this was freaking dope. Like, I tilted my camera to the side. And basically, I'm sitting there, I'm running into combat. And I just thought this was really nice, guys. I wanted to come down from below and had like a side shot twist in the camera angle, guys. And it just looks like fire all in the background, but it's actually the sky. All right. And this was one of the swordsmen's fights, the Ronins. And I just thought this was beautiful here. You got the Buddha statue in the background. You got the little fire, uh, I mean, little candle things like uh, on the ground. And I just that I just thought the scene was just so dramatic, guys. I actually probably want to edit this too. Here's one of the standoffs that I had. Um, I, I put it out of focus on purpose because I wanted you to see the person out of focus in the background and the, and the, and the Jen uh, focused uh, out of focus um, uh, in the foreground. I mean, in the in the front. And then we left. I left all the bottom part almost in focus. I just thought it was really really cool right there. I probably might edit that too. All right, now the Buddhist monk, warrior monk, uh, what is it? Shrine has been destroyed. I thought this was a dramatical scene too. And I caught this in the moment when the scene was over, as you can see the little the little uh, petals, rose, like uh, flower petals flying away. And then you have this scene right here, which I thought was pretty awesome, guys. It's nighttime, see the cloud peeking out and everything. Dope, dope scene, and I have the Sakai armor in the beginning of beginning stages. Now, this was a really, really cool image. You know, you got Jin right here. He's basically preparing for battle with um, with his companion right here, and he's basically going to help his uncle out. Now, this is like this is like a drink between these two right here, and I just thought this scene was very, very important. Uh, them two pretty much uh, talk to each other and releasing some stress and, and nervousness uh, before battle. And I like the bottle, the contrast in that, everything, guys. Like, I like catching photos during cinemas, too. You can find some amazing things. That's some just laughing, Jen's laughing and stuff. I just thought the, the, the facial work was just amazing in these pictures, guys. Very, very, very cool. And you got the rest of them drinking right there. You know, we got he has the the bottle up, kind of kind of almost like a the bottle from um, Naruto that uh, Dry used to drink out of. I just thought that was bam, 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 really, really, really good. All right, and then you have the standoff fight uh, between him and his uh, his friend, which was really phenomenal right there, Jin and his friend. But Anyway, guys, that about does it. I just wanted to make this video basically showing you the capabilities of the photo mode. I will be editing uh, some of the pictures, guys. Some of the pictures you won't see and some of the pictures you, you will see you again. And I just thought it was something cool that I could do for you guys and, and to show you the extent of photo mode. But now I want to show you my editing skills so you get the guys get to see my editing skills and Photoshop and Lightroom and stuff. And I'm going to play around with the photos and I'll probably do another video. But also stay tuned for my next video on the multiplayer of Ghost of Tsushima. Some information came out about that. And I'm excited to present that to you. So I guess it will be kind of almost like a follow-up part two to this video. But don't forget the bell button, subscribe button to get the notifications of my channel, guys. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That definitely helps me on the algorithm, guys. So that basically gets people to see my videos. But also, guys, comment, comment in the in the um the description below guys let me know what you guys think of the photos and let me know about the photos that you've taken guys it's keel lancer we got more coming up